Hey, what's happening everyone? This is Yummy Mesh, and welcome back to another scary horror game. This one is called Catacombs, and it's based off the tunneling system underneath Paris that was abandoned many, many, many years ago. A place filled with darkness. It's gonna be incredibly awesome. So let's get on to this game, shall we, and have a jolly old time. I heard some loud growling in the background just then. It's never good. Oh look, there's a narrative, guys. Let me read it to you all. Oh, it's America, apparently. Somewhere in America, an abandoned gold digger city with the name Sunshine Hills can be found. Ancient catacombs can be found underneath this city, forbidden to enter them all alone for a good reason. In 1978, a whole group had disappeared during a stroll through a small extract of the catacombs. Among, among the vanquished was a little girl named Mina. Her parents sent many teams into the catacombs to rescue her, but none of them ever returned. The authorities stopped further rescue tours because two months after Mina disappeared, a man escaped the catacomb. This man was the end of his vitality, starved and dehydrated. He reported that there are many monsters, guises, steps and voices in the darkness. As a guy is doing a massive piano solo. Oh shit. I think Piano Man just died right there. Long live Piano Man. It was nice knowing you, dude. All right, here we go. Today, 1982, apparently, you are in front of the entrance to the catacombs for whatever goddamn reason came over me to go in this place. Your Geiger counter, the camera, flashlight, and recorder, the equipment is complete. An expert of paranormal activities, and I've solved many cases. Mina's parents hired me, because I'm the last hope for them to get Mina alive back to them, if she's not already dead five years ago. Deep inside yourself, you doubt that Mina is still alive, but curiosity tells you to check them nevertheless. Carefully, you open the door and, and enter the ancient catacombs. Alright, this has a nice little storyline, I'm liking this. So this isn't based off the ones underneath Paris, this is ones in America uh, by Sunshine Hills. It seems that I was conscious. My equipment, damn I lost it, where the hell am I? Something seems to have happened in this place. A note. You have to flee before they get you, written in other language. Oh shit. Barrels! Barrels everywhere! For what for what the barrels? It seems they stored anything in this catacombs. Yes. They all the junk and shit has just been placed in here. Nobody really <laughs> Hey Are those cat eyes? Startled me a little bit because I didn't expect that, but are you serious? Oh my light. My uh, my goddamn light seems to have gone out. It seems to be on a power bar right here. Uh, how do I turn this thing back on? Oh, Al, not F. Interesting. Let's keep going. Hey. Not this way. Well, which way am I supposed to go? Oh, wait. The doors can open? Oh. Alright. Wow. This is going to be frustrating because I'm going to have to constantly turn the uh, the flashlight back on and off every now and then because it seems to be on a uh, power bar. Now how do I open doors? Is it with E? I can try. Oh hey cat size, how you doing? Some more barrels, but why? Hey uh, other cat size, this, is, this has been a little bit disappointing so far guys. I was expecting a little bit better, but uh, hey the narrative was cool. Maybe, maybe the game will pick up a little bit as we get into it. Fingers crossed, right? That's the problem with playing these games, guys. You never quite know what to expect. Alright. I can hear whispering. Hello? Oh. Oh, hey. I was expecting the whispering to go something along the lines like this. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. <laughs> Scratch. And then I died. Because I stepped on the cat's tail. <laughs> Open said door. Further into the catacombs we go, filled with blue and stripy barrels, for whatever reason. And cat's eyes that float around. So far the scenery has been quite repetitive. But maybe things will pick up and change as we get deeper and deeper into this... Well, to be honest, it's pretty well kept if you think about it. The walls are very clean. Somebody's definitely cleaned these walls lately. But who's cleaned these walls? Is it the janitor? 
Is Mina the janitor? Does she clean the walls? They are very, very shiny and clean. I don't know why, though. There seems to be a pattern. That brick, that brick, that brick, that brick, they're all different colours. Some of the bricks are darker. A bed. Good night, world. Bzzz. Well, 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 guys. I have been slightly disappointed here. I was uh, expecting a really good game because I heard uh, well, the, re the reviews are quite positive. And usually the reviews are on point, but so far nothing really. Let's keep going in though. I don't want to bash this too hard before getting too far into the game. It might pick up. <gasps> Very loud cat size. That's even worse. <laughs> Let me just turn this down a little bit. Gotta wait for the bloody damn flashlight to uh, charge back up, ain't we? What was I thinking bringing in the shittest flashlight in history that you have to turn off every 20 seconds to charge it? Has anybody ever thought about batteries? Why didn't you bring a flashlight with batteries in the last hours? You're supposed to be a goddamn paranormal investigator who solved many cases, who was hired by me and his parents to come in here, who must be rich. They could have at least bought you a decent flashlight, man. Huh? No? Okay, let's keep going. Damn, I never knew the ancient tunnels of death were filled with cats. Who would have thought it? Seems to be like a never-ending spiral of hallways now that you have to keep turning every fucking five seconds. Oh, they're getting a bit wider, though. Hello? <laughs> that was an evil ghost spirit! That was definitely a demon lady, it wasn't a cat! Oh, crazy cat lady, maybe. Maybe these tunnels are haunted by a crazy cat lady. Alright, that led to a goddamn dead end with a goddamn jump scare. Hey, I can run it by holding down this! Who's Oz MNG? Zero ZMG, I can finally get out of this goddamn forsaken maze of walls. So many corners and so many hallways! Oh my god, I, I seriously walked down all that way? That was a long, long way. Alright, let's walk in the darkness a little bit, shall we? So far, guys, we've had floating cat eyes, jump scares, a decent narrative at the beginning, and the same goddamn barrels with the same goddamn walls. What else will be waiting for me in the ancient catacombs of barrels? Hello? Hello? Where am I going? Hey, we're progressing now at least. Huh. Okay. Do we go to the door on the left or do we go to the door on the right? Let me go with the eeny meeny miny mo. I'll just go this way. I can't be asking in the whole song. <gasps> ah! See you, Mina! That's probably her, you know, she's probably dead. Oh, hey again, Mina! Alright, that's nice. I'm happy you're happy. She seems really, you know. Hello? Is there somebody in the room with me? If there is somebody else in the room with me, give me a sign. Brush my hair. Make a noise. Move something. Knock a barrel over. The goddamn barrels. I knew it was all their fault. Ooh, ooh, hey! Uh, what's this say? Where's my English narrative gone? Oh, whatever. I don't care anyway. Hello? <laughs> ah! Okay. Nice seeing you too, loud jump scare. Well, well, well. Let's just say, I see where this is going. I expect the ending to be a loud jump scare, and I die, and it's probably Mina who kills me or some bullshit. Or maybe there'll be a skeleton on the floor, and that'll be her dead skeleton. I'm, I'm just gonna say that. Oh, a hand! Of a big hand! Anything but a hand! Can I read those notes, please? Hello, Mina? Are you in this giant what, room? No? Alright, let's get out of here. Mina! I'm here to rescue you because I'm getting paid a billion dollars by your parents. And I got this shitty flashlight to find you with. Oh, God. Why? Why did this game have to be so bad? It had good reviews. <laughs> let's keep going. Na, na, na. So many barrels and beds! Oh, I didn't get to read that in time, dude. Don't talk so fast. 
Yeah, why are there so many barrels and beds in this place? Is this is there a reason for this, or are they just there because you, the developer couldn't think of anything else to put in this place? You know, he just spammed the bed and barrel feature and was like, yeah, this'll do. Oh, I've already came that way. Let's just try and jump over all these goddamn obstacles in the way. Oh, this this is just a a dead room, isn't it? There's nothing really in here. Except an animate objects filled to the brim. Come on, dude. It's gotta be something, right? So, there was no point to this room? Why did you put this room here? What was the point? No, my flashlight! Fucking, fucking flashlight! Do I still have to keep going out? <sighs> okay. It's calmed down a little bit. This game's gonna be the end of me if this keeps up. I don't know how much more I can take of this, to be honest with you guys. I wish there was a map or something. I wish there was like a point, like a direction for me to go. I have a freaking bed. Hello? Oh, what's this say? Can't find a way out. I see things on the walls and shadows. Help me, help me, help me. Dude, it's just cat size, a hand, and a freaking gill in a white cloth. It's really nothing that scary, man. Like, calm down. You got like a million barrels to hide in at least. You know, you could take the lid off one of those and hide, right? No, not this way. All right, barrels. S I swear to God. Am I back at the beginning? I really hope not. Long hallway. Hello. This game blows. <laughs> Freaking flashlight! Why can't you be like all the other flashlights in horror games and actually not be shit? Actually, stay on. Where am I going? I'm completely lost now. There's really nothing to tell me where to go, and this place sucks. It's not even scary. There's no atmosphere to this place. Where's the music? Where's the? Where's like the? Blood, where's the build up to a scare? Where's the creature? I can hear her whispering. Oh, I guess I'm getting closer to Mina. I can hear her whispering in this ship. Oh, freaking cats. Go away, cats. I was back. I'm back at the beginning now. <laughs> you know, I have like candidates for like the shittest games I've ever played, and um. I think there was one a couple years ago that was really, really goddamn bad. But it was so bad that it was kind of funny, you know? Like, I found a bit of humour in how shit it was. This one, however, there is no humour. A good horror game is not based off a couple jump scares. A good horror game is, all, is more or less based off atmosphere. A good narrative, which you started off with nicely, but you didn't continue it. The mechanics of the game. This flashlight blows. You don't. You do. You should not have a flashlight that does this constantly. It's really, really annoying. Cause I have to constantly stop, wait for it to recharge, and press it again. It just slows down the pace of the game, which you don't want to do in a game. There's no map. There's no. Yeah, I've read that already. There's no map. There's no direction for me to go. I'm just going around in circles. The goddamn. Ah, the flashlight. The goddamn scenery is all the same. It's filled with barrels, beds, and the friggin' the same wall, ceiling, and floor. There's nothing to it. So honestly, if, if I'm gonna be serious... Oh, hey! Something's happening, guys. Hello? <laughs> ah! Loud, loud noises! They always get me. If I'm gonna be serious, this game isn't, uh, isn't really to par with uh, many horror games I have played. Um, I hope this is definitely alpha version, I hope. Please do anything! Do that again. Do that again, but this time, throw something at me. Something different. Was that really loud, scary sound effect? <laughs> what was that? It was cat 
Catsoys! Again! Catsoys! Hey! Hey! Keep whispering! Kill me! Scare me! Do something! Do anything! Don't you dare lead me to a dead end! Don't you lead me to a dead end! I've come this far! Please! Please kill me! Stab me! Cut my head off and eat my inside! Drink my blood! Do something! Barrels! What's it say? What does that note say? Hello? Anyone? Evil creatures of the tunnels? Please? Please? Give me a new flashlight for God's sake! Yay! Scary eyes! More bits and barrels! More bits and barrels! More bits and barrels! More bits and barrels! I'm writing this letter to all the YouTubers out there. Braid Wolf, Mark, everyone. Whatever you do, don't play catacombs. It is filled with nothing but beds and barrels. Please, for your sake, don't play this game. Okay, all I have to do is get this letter sent to them. I hope it reaches them in time. What was that? Oh. There's nothing.